Now we can define the governing equations and add the boundary conditions. Start by double-clicking Setup in the Workbench window. When the Fluent Launcher opens, select Double Precision. This increases both the precision and range of magnitudes that can be represented, but at the cost of using increased memory. Under Solver Processes, change this to match the number of CPU cores on your computer. This allows for effective parallelization and will improve the solution time. Once this is set up, click Start to open Fluent. Once Fluent is open, close out of any pop-up windows, and in the top we can perform a mesh check. We get no errors in the command pane, so our mesh is sufficient to get good results. To refine the governing equations, ensure that Steady is selected. We can further alter the governing equations of our mathematical model under the Models option in the tree. Expanding it and selecting Viscous, we can change the model to Laminar and click OK. This tells the Fluent Solver that these are the governing equations we want to solve. To further define the governing equations, we need to specify material properties and boundary conditions. Under Materials in the tree, expand Fluid and double-click on Air. Here we can change the density and viscosity of the flow fluid. To achieve a Reynolds number of 20, a selection of parameters are shown here for a cylinder with a diameter of 1 meter. This gives us density and coefficient of viscosity values to simulate the desired flow. Back in Fluent, we can enter these values here. Click Change and Create when done. You can then close this window. To define the boundary conditions, we can double-click it in the tree. First, select Far Field 1 and change it to be a Velocity Inlet. In the pop-up window, for Velocity Specification Method, change it to Components. Next, change the X Velocity to be 1 meter per second to achieve the desired Reynolds number. Then click Apply and close the window. We can then select Far Field 2 and change it to be a pressure outlet. Checking the details shows that it is automatically set to a gauge pressure of zero, which is what we want. Note that this gauge pressure is relative to a specific operating condition. We can check this value by selecting Operating Conditions. This shows that the operating pressure is set to atmospheric pressure. Using gauge pressures instead of an absolute pressure reduces errors caused by saving small differences of large numbers to memory. You can now select OK and close the Far Field 2 window. Finally, we can check to make sure that cylinder wall is set to a wall boundary condition and flow domain is marked as interior. Doing this fully defines our mathematical model. Make sure to save your project.